I want to adjust the adjusting screws on this carburetor today, but it requires a specialty tool to do that. I don't have that tool, but I do have a little flat screwdriver like this. That's what I'm going to use today to do this. I'm going to show you how right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve. This is quite a light job to do today, and I figured a Bud Light is probably going to go well with this job today. Who doesn't like Bud Light? This carburetor right here is off of a Ryobi handheld leaf blower. It requires a specialty tool to adjust the carburetor. It's one I've only ever seen one time before. It's called a double D. <laughs> Don't get me started, you guys. I am not making this up. It's called a double D adjusting tool. I don't have one. I do have one on order, though. I have a set of them on order. And um, I got a link on my description of this video so you can see the one that I've ordered if you want to just see it or if you want to order one on your own. Very inexpensive, a whole set of them, and it includes the double D one. If you're like me and you're impatient, I don't want to wait two weeks for the set to show up. I want to adjust this thing and fix it right now. So what we're going to do is uh, hack this thing and so I can use this little flat screwdriver instead of the specialty screwdriver. Obviously, I have the carburetor taken off of the leaf blower right now because I'm going to put it in my bench vise. I'm going to pinch that in my bench vise. Now, if you see these the sealing edges on the sides of your carb like that, you don't want to damage those. So what I'm going to do is uh, just wrap that in a rag a little bit like that before I pinch that in my bench vise just to, to protect it a little bit and I'm going to just snug it up just enough to hold it tight you don't need to get too tight on there and uh, then I'm going to just put some leather gloves on and a hacksaw blade this is a fine hacksaw blade it's a 32 teeth per inch hacksaw blade very fine that's what I'm going to use today that's what I'm going to try today and see if this actually works I'm going to cut two slots in the end of those uh, adjusting screws so I can just use that little flat screwdriver to get this job accomplished today. So let's go take it over to the vise. Check this out. So you can see here before we start, you need that specialty screwdriver. There's no slots in the end of that. Take my hacksaw right now and I'm gonna run that through nice and light until we got a couple slots in there. Now you can see we can easily get that flat screwdriver down in there and actually turn those screws. So there you go. Now that we're able to turn those screws and adjust it, now we can go back and adjust this thing. I do have a video on my channel already that you might want to check out. It's called How to Adjust a Carburetor on a Blower. You, I'll put a little link up here again, the I button. Also at the end of this video, I'll put a link up there for you too. Um, as well as I got another video on how to do it with a, a weed eater and also a chainsaw. I'll put those links up there for you too. So I really hope I helped some of you guys out there with this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me that thumbs up button, guys. Come on, hit that like button and uh, share this video with your friends if you like. And uh, by the way, good luck with those double Ds. Steve out.